testing one two one two so I bought microgreens at the farmers market recently did you know that microgreens have many more benefits than their grown counterparts? They contain up to 40% more vitamins, antioxidants, and minerals than the same amount of mature greens. In this video, I'm going to be adding all of the microgreens that I bought into my meals, but first let's start with breakfast. I know that we're supposed to have a healthy breakfast, but because I'm Dominican, I like to fry my plantains. This is actually a viral eggs with feta recipe that I saw online and I've loved it ever since I tried it myself. Even though it is slightly fried, I really like this breakfast because it's very filling in the morning. Even though I'm eating food every day, I also make sure to stay very hydrated. No, not by drinking juice, but drinking lots of water too. As I said before, microgreens are very important. Not only do they elevate the taste, but they're also sustainable choice requiring minimal resources to grow. Microgreens are like the superheroes of the plant world. You can add microgreens to your salads, your sandwiches, your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner. And this is what my video is about today because I've been learning so much about this. Did you know that broccoli microgreens are actually really rich in sulforaphane? Not sure if I'm saying that correctly. I learned that broccoli microgreens have a bunch of minerals. Some of these minerals include magnesium, potassium, fiber, calcium, iron. And studies have shown a high value in preventing chronic diseases like cancer. I went to Target and I found this mini waffle maker and I don't prefer waffles honestly for breakfast but I wanted to actually make something else This is something that I've been seeing on Instagram and on social media and I wanted to try for myself Here I mix the tuna with salt and pepper, cinnamon basil, broccoli, and parsley. Cinnamon basil is another microgreen that's super delicious and very important. It has vitamins E, A, K, B6, and C, as well as calcium, iron, zinc, magnesium, copper, phosphorus, and even potassium. Ever since I was a kid, I loved cabbage. I always find ways to add it to my food or try to cook it in some way. Ever since I could remember, my mom used to make this recipe called Niño Envuelto. I think in English is called Swaddled Child. Ever since then, I've been obsessed with cabbage. It's basically oven baked. The cabbage wraps rice and ground beef inside with tomato sauce covering it. Aside from it being a childhood memory, I found out that cabbage has some really impressive nutritious values. 
Even though cabbage has really low calories, it has a bunch of vitamins as well. In addition to the fiber that cabbage provides, you also can add microgreens to your dishes. Not only are you adding and upgrading your health benefits for your well-being, but you're also adding a burst of flavor. On my final meal this week, I actually wanted to show some appreciation to one of my favorite YouTubers. She is actually one of the reasons why I started this journey on my slow living, cozy lifestyle. Her name is Annika's Leaf, and I started watching her videos probably about two years ago. Her videos were the first time that I realized that people can make videos about their life and others will enjoy it. And that is a valuable lesson in itself, which I've learned by watching other YouTubers. These lifestyle YouTubers have paved the way for people to actually want to share their life with others. Another important lesson that I've learned from my favorite creators on YouTube or any platform is to add fruits to your dishes. Once in a while, enjoy a really beautiful fruit smoothie. Thank you for joining me on this video while I teach you something that I've learned. I'm going to go enjoy my smoothie. Have a great one. Bye.